Today's tutorial is going to be on how to remove a user account from your computer that was maybe somebody's old user account and you don't really need any of the files in it and you don't want it taking up space on your computer. So it's real simple. What you do is go into the Apple menu, go to System Preferences, go to Users and Groups, and then look for the account that you want to delete. Now keep in mind, anything that's in the desktop of that particular account and any documents that are in that user account is going to end up being deleted. I'm going to delete this kids account that I set up just to be an account that kids could use when they log on to my computer. And I no longer need it and I don't care any of the items that are in there because they weren't anything that were related to me. So all you have to do is unclick the uh, lock over here, click on the account that you want to get rid of. You must be administrator on the account to do that. And you simply hit the minus key down here. Now then you have a choice to save the home folder as a disk image. This basically would you know, compress the uh, folder into a DMG file and then you'll have it in case you ever need it in the future. Or you just may want to delete the home folder and erase it entirely, which won't affect the account that you're logged into because it wouldn't allow you to delete the account that you're logged into. You'd have to be logged in in a different account. But in this case I'm just going to click delete user and as you can see it's gone. If you want to add an account back in that has parental controls, you would hit this little plus sign, select manage with parental controls, put in the name, which let's say I wanted to create another kid's account. You could use your iCloud password or you could just put in any password you want. And I'm just picking any random password. You can do a hint here, uh, just type in anything you would want um, as a hint to the password and create the user. And as you can see, the kids account has come up here. But note that it's not administrated on this computer. If you want to do additional items as far as parental controls, click on the open parental controls and again unclick this lock. Type in your username and password for your admin account. Limit your application usage. Here you have a choice as to which applications they can use and not use. Limit their web access over here allow them access to these websites. So if you want them only to go to, for example, their homework website, you could actually do that over here. Um, people, you know, a limit who they can text. Time limits, you can even put in time limits and some other items. Disable built-in cameras is really good if you have a computer that's sitting in an open area and you just don't want anybody to be able to kind of remote in and hack into that computer and look at the camera. Or if you don't want your children to be able to kind of have chats back and forth with uh, people because they're underage, you may want to turn that off. But either way, you have that ability and you can also look at logs as to what's been going on with uh, the items. Also disable changing the password prevents users from changing the passwords that you're setting up for them, so that's important too. Once you uh, set all that up, what you have to do is kind of close this up here and uh, it's a done deal. And at that point, if you click back over here, you're going to see you have a managed account and a non-managed account um, for that login. However, if the kids don't log in with the username kids and you are still logged into your account, they will have all your privileges. So you definitely want to log out after each use so that they can only log in with that account. Well, I hope that explains it. Enjoy. And it's a great way of also setting up an admin user account as a backup to your own. As you can see, I have one here which is an admin account. If anything goes wrong with my user account, I could log in as admin and fix it. So those are also little tips for the future.